Hey, what's up guys? It's Matt, and um, just shooting this video today to say that we are done. Uh, took my last final today, got a 49 out of 50 on that, so that was my mechanical ventilation exam. Uh, and as I'd kind of said in some of my last videos, I really only needed a... 38 uh, out of 50 on that exam. I basically just didn't, couldn't fail. Um, so I passed. I did wind up getting a 45 out of 50 on my farm final, which is exactly what I needed to keep my A. Then he wound up throwing out two questions. So it guaranteed my A, so I actually finished this semester with all A's. Um, I know that's a good thing. That's awesome. Um, it's not the end of the world if I'd gotten a B, but honestly it was just kind of a, a personal challenge at this point uh, to get all A's. So I uh, officially finished my first year of respiratory therapy school with all A's. So I currently have a 4.0. Uh, I'm pretty pumped about that. Uh, as soon as we got done with our uh, exam, we had to hang out for a minute and do a like a co-arc survey about the classroom where they ask you questions about the quality of the instructors for the labs and clinicals and lectures and stuff so uh came home uh my wife was off today so we went out to have like a celebratory lunch uh, and came home and now uh it's basically time to relax and hang out um, maybe take a short break from thinking about anything respiratory until uh, clinical start. So my clinical start exactly two weeks from today. Um, so I guess I get 14 days off from anything uh, particularly school related. That'll that'll be kind of nice. I mean, I still work, still have my kids at home. Um, but it'll be fun to not have to stress about a test every week or is there a quiz coming up or uh, any of that kind of stuff um, just pretty much make sure I have clean scrubs in the next two weeks and uh, be ready to go uh, I'm not going to do my big first year review this is not what this video is going to be um, this is just a quick uh, I did it I got my my straight A's um, probably later this week uh, when I have a day off or something I will sit down because um, I, well, I haven't taken the time this is kind of a spontaneous video for me um, I didn't really think about it just kind of turned the camera on today uh, so I'll write down some thoughts about my first year and kind of reflect on that and then um, maybe give pointers um, this next coming uh, semester is going to be I think just as challenging. I know we've been told that the second semester that I just finished was the hardest, but um, I think I think there's a lot, a lot more to come, um, and all of it's going to build upon what we've been doing this first year. So, um, really excited for that, and uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to it. We do have our um, orientation coming up for. The new class coming in and when I first started developing my interest in this program there was no weight uh, that was one of the the kind of like selling points if you will for the program was um, unlike some of their programs where you needed to complete certain prereqs to apply and then some other stuff wasn't necessarily a prerequisite but had to be required so a lot of people in the weight or whatever did the uh, the other requirements um, because there was no wait for this program they were like you have to have everything done and you apply and then you're guaranteed to basically start the next uh, the next rotation um, so I don't know if it's because of our um, our respiratory club uh, like this semester we weren't quite as active but last semester they were very active the, uh, the first years and second years they had put on a lot of like bake sales and um, a lot of volunteer time and stuff that uh, you know I don't know if it built interest or what but 
Um, we were told that there are 32 incoming students and actually uh, eight more that are on a wait list. Um, so that's pretty amazing. Uh, it is a first come first serve in that sense. So those other eight people are just wait listed because they applied after the fact. But um, so at our orientation, we're expecting 40 people trying to claim into our little classroom and we'll, we'll see how that goes. But uh, that's pretty amazing for us. So just um, respiratory taking a huge step. Uh, I'd gone on COARC's website where you can look at statistics for programs. And I think it will show you up to like three or four years prior. Um, and so to see 32 people interested compared to like 2014 or 13, how many students will at least ended up finishing the program, um, I think that's pretty amazing. Uh, it's a big step for my program. So anyways, guys, uh, I'm just going to call the video here. Like I said, later this week, I will shoot a full like synopsis and recap and reflection on my first year. So uh, stay tuned for that. And thanks everyone for watching. I hope everyone did well on finals or if you still have finals, good luck, um, do well, and I will talk to you guys soon.